So let's talk a little bit about notes and comments. When you create views and share views, you know that you can let those people that you share it with make comments. And you can also make notes on an event um, within your rendered view of trial line. So in the list view here, this just would let us organize events by which ones had the most activity on them if we were interested in that. So let's go to the rendered view of trial line and look at what this looks like. Spread this out a bit. And I've kind of preloaded this one with a bunch of notes and comments just to give you some ideas and examples of what we're talking about here. So anytime we have a comment, anytime anyone has commented on a view that we have shared with them, you'll see that this icon right here will light up. And this indicates that there's been a comment made on this event. And if we scroll through here, we might find that some events have more than one comment. So that's just telling us, hey, someone that you shared this trial line with has made a comment on that event. So to see the comments, we come over here to this comments pullout in the shortcut menu. We click on it and we can see all the activity, all the text activity that has happened on all of our event bubbles. So this includes both comments that were made by people that we shared our trial line with when we created a separate view for them. For example, we created a view for Dr. Steve. And Dr. Steve made some comments, and we can see it right here. And this organizes comments by event. So if, if an event does not have any notes or comments, you will not see it in this comments pullout. If it does, you can simply click here, and this is organizing those notes and comments under each event. So for motorcycle collision, there's a note and there's a comment. You can tell the difference between notes and comments by this header right here. So when we see this Dr. Lebahan Borgerson in bold, we know that that's actually the name of the view that we shared with Dr. Lebahan Borgerson, and that anything under his name are comments that he made. And this is be his email address too. This is a staff member of mine that we used as an example, but you can see that um, you can also tell who made the comment by their email address. This is a note. It has no heading. It's just a note that you made, and we can see notes throughout here. So on the ambulance report, whoever made that went in and made this note. And Dr. Diana also made a comment on this ambulance report, and her comment is right here. Someone in the office made another note, another note, and you can tell by who made that note by this, by Travis Luther right here. I can also make comments and continue to keep this rolling on the notes, and I can say, please, mail me a copy. Actually, that's not instructive enough. Please have Dan email me a copy and post. And in that way, I'm kind of keeping this thread going about the ambulance report. And so if we want to go to the bottom, we can look historically at what comments have been made, what notes have been made, and what responses have been made by your team members just to let you know what they're thinking about an event or if anything else needs to be done on it. And as we click through, we can see that whenever we click an event, it brings it to the center of our trial line, so we know exactly what we're talking about. To close comments and notes, we just click it, and there it goes. Here we can see our event, and if we click more and click comments, we can see the comments that have been made. Similar to the comments pullout here, also within each event, you can respond should you want to. And next to comments, we see notes. So this is the area where, uh, where you can post notes. However, we are in view mode, which means we're not actually able to edit. If we want to edit the notes or add notes, we need to go edit, notes, and then we see the note that we had right there. Let's double check that work. Save. And as we crawl over here to second appointment in comments, we can see right here where I've added. Let's double check that work to an existing note. Close this and go back to our physical therapy session. 